Welcome to Douglas County News Exchange. I'm your host, Lena Hardy. Did you know that over 700 movie and television productions have been filmed in Douglas County in Douglasville? Well, if you don't know, now you know. The Old Courthouse Museum of History and Art is currently showcasing an exhibit on the Douglas County Film Trail. Here's the Tourism Director, Colin Cash, with more information. Well, we have a Douglas County Film Trail, which is basically we've put together a self-guided tour of all of the different places around the county that have been used for filming. We've used the public places so that you can go and visit them at any time. There are a lot of private um, property places that have been used for filming as well, but obviously we don't want visitors showing up at people's houses. So the film trail contains the sites uh, that are public. For example, we're here right now at the Old Douglas County Courthouse and the museum in the visitor center. Um, this museum has been used for a variety of things. Um, Michael Keaton filmed uh, parts of the founder here and then we also have had a variety of uh, TV shows and commercials and things that have been filmed here. One of the other popular spots is the Old Douglas County Jail. Um, you can't go into the jail, but just outside the gate, we have one of our film trail signs. And that's how you identify the different places that are on the trail, by looking for the, um, the film trail signs. And then you go to the website, Douglas County Film Trail website, and you can see what all has been filmed at each of the locations along the film trail. Recently, we had Clint Eastwood in town, uh, a new movie that just came out called The Mule. And uh, Mr. Eastwood was here along with Bradley Cooper and Lawrence Fishburne. We have had um, Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx in town recently. Um, we did, a couple years ago, we had uh, Channon Tatum, Daniel Craig, um, Adam Driver. So we've had a lot of big names. Just the other day, I got to um, hang out with and meet Jason Bateman. Stranger Things, I have a little um, gift here that some of the crew from Stranger Things gave me for helping them out. This is uh, their third season that they filmed portions here in downtown Douglasville. And um, we have, I'm working right now with MacGyver, the TV show. Um, besides Stranger Things, there's another sci-fi show called Stand Against Evil. We've had The Mule, The Founder, I mean, tons of uh, independent films, things for Netflix. Um, Jason Bateman filmed some of Ozark here. There's been some new Marvel TV shows, uh, The Gifted. Um, a lot of times when they come in, they come in under a code name. The local people won't really know what they're filming until it's released and then um, they can look and go, wow, I, I recognize that street or I recognize the old jail or, or the old courthouse. Douglas County was one of the very first counties in the state um, to become camera ready and that was a program from the uh, Georgia Department of Economic Development from the state's film division to make these communities be film friendly and camera ready. So being film friendly means that basically there's one point of contact, which at this point now it's me. So when uh, location scouts and people like that need something, they don't have to run around trying to find, you know, who do I talk to for this? Who do I talk to for that? And we try to make things as uh, easy for them, one-stop shopping. They come to me and then I can pretty much take care of all their needs. So we have our website, douglascountyfilmtrail.com and that will take you to a map and a list of locations and if you uh, want to go to each of these locations and use your mobile phone then you can continue to follow the trail um, all the way around the county on your own. On January 8th, the Board of Commissioners voted to approve the fares for the upcoming bus service Connect Douglas. As of right now, a one-way ticket will be $2.50, with a discounted ticket of $1 being offered to senior adults age 60 and older, disabled individuals, and students. 
senior adults, disabled individuals, and students will be able to receive a photo ID discount card for the bus service by completing a verification process card at the Douglas County Transportation Center located at 8800 Doors Road. Individuals will use the discount card when boarding the bus or paying for their multi-trip pass. The Douglas County Commission would also like to remind the citizens that there's a way the community can help the county with poor road conditions. If you've seen a pothole or know of poor road conditions, you can visit CelebrateDouglasCounty.com and click on the Submit Citizens Concerns icon. Call the County Department of Transportation at 678-626-0158 or email at roadconditions at co.douglas.ga.us. As you already know, DCNE has teamed up with the Board of Education to receive monthly updates on what's happening within our county school system. Joining me in the studio is the Communications Director of the Douglas County School System, Portia Lake. The top spellers in Douglas County's elementary and middle schools showed off their skills at the Douglas County Courthouse. In front of a packed audience of parents, friends, and educators, the talented linguists took turns spelling every day as well as the unusual words. Round after round, they competed for the title of the district's most talented speller. After nearly two hours of fierce competition, Charlotte Hunter walked away with top honors after correctly spelling anchovy. Seventh grader Shimon Mark of Mason Creek Middle School took the next highest honor. With this win, Turner Middle School's Charlotte Hunter will now move on to district-wide competition. New Manchester High School's award-winning a cappella group Intonation brought their amazing group harmony to the stage of the fabulous Spots Theater in downtown Atlanta. Intonation opened for the Disney singing sensation DC Capella, which is a group that performs a cappella versions of Disney classics and popular tunes. D. Capella hosted a social media contest, and in Toe Nation, they won the coveted invitation to perform on stage as part of their nationwide tour. A food truck rolled through the parking lot of Douglas County High School to reward more than 230 students for making straight A's. Atlanta's Texas food truck delivered tacos to 232 students who made the grade their first semester. Principal Andre Weaver says this is just one way to keep students motivated and excited about high school and to encourage them to work hard and plan for career in college. To educate parents as well as the community about the dangers of sex trafficking, the Douglas County School System hosted and presented a very important seminar tackling the nation's human trafficking crisis. Dahlia Racine, a noted expert on human trafficking, presented that information at Douglas County High School. Dahlia served as a prosecutor for 15 years in Fulton and DeKalb County, specializing in human trafficking. She now trains law enforcement as well as prosecutors all across the country. With the majority of the 1.5 million victims of trafficking being children, this seminar created a very important and vital opportunity to reach parents and educate them about the warning signs of exploitation and the laws designed to protect Douglas County youth. A dedication ceremony was held on January 26 to rename the Douglas County Fire EMX Training Complex to the L. Wayne Arrington Fire EMS Training Facility. This change was made by the BOC to honor the memory of Douglas County's first fire chief. Several politicians, fighter fighters, family, and friends joined together to celebrate the legacy created by Chief Arrington. To watch the full ceremony, check it out on DCTV 23 Presents. That's our show for this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our programming on DCTV 23. You can find us on Comcast Channel 23, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, and online at DCTV23.com. We end our show with a monthly birthday celebration for seniors at the Woody Fight Senior Center. See you next time. Here we go, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all these February birthdays. 
Um, I know my husband is actually a February baby too. Uh, but his is Valentine's Day. Therefore, I don't get anything on Valentine's because it's his birthday. Okay. <laughs> so, but we're so glad that you are here. We're glad that we got sunshine outside. We're glad we did not have snow this yeah. past oh, week, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but anyway, I want to welcome you on behalf of the Woody Fight Center and the staff that is here and all of our volunteers. We also have with us Madam Chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, and she has a few words for you. Happy birthday. On behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, we are honored to celebrate your birthday and we appreciate everything that you do in our county and also for all of your hard work and, and we know that you've paid your dues and that's why we celebrate you so graciously today. So happy birthday. I love the month of February. Was looking for a little snow, but of course we don't have any, so that's good and I know you all are happy about that. But I am looking forward to Valentine's Day, so thank you all so much. And again, happy birthday from the Douglas County Board of Commissioners and myself, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna be coming around. I want your, your name, your age if you want to. And at this point in your life, you ought to be proud of how old you are, correct? Right. Okay, but also where you were born, because we normally have an international thing here. Yes, we Almost do. every month we have somebody that was born maybe someplace else other than the United States of America. So let me know about that if, it, if there is that. So, so we're going to start off right here with this gentleman here. What's your name? Don Crosby. When's your birthday? February 23rd. Okay. Where were you born? Pahokee, Florida. Florida, okay. okay. <laughs> I will tell you this, he has also worked in uh, the casinos in Las Vegas, so. Oh. And is part of our chip poker uh, group there. Happy birthday, Mr. Happy Don. Birthday. Okay. Harris Smith. When's your birthday? Yesterday, January 31st. <laughs> okay, but, but you made it in on the February's, right? Because yeah. you didn't make <laughs> it in on the February's. Okay, very good. And where were you born? Right here, Douglas County. All right. All right. Very, very good. Yes. My name is Bessie Smith, and I was uh, born, born uh, February the 11th. Okay. And I'm from uh, Lexington, Mississippi. And I came here with my husband okay. in Douglas County, this is Harry over here. Okay. He brought you here, right? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> it, was that a good thing or a bad thing? I bet not say. Oh. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sandra Newborn. I was born in Miami, Florida, and I've been married for 61 years. Wow. And, or almost. He'll straighten <laughs> me out. <laughs> But anyway, and also, oh, my age, I'm 79. Oh, okay, right. very, good. Yeah. very good. Very, very good. Thank you. Happy birthday. I'm Mary Faye Otwell. I was born in Bremen, Georgia. I'll be 76 on February the 11th. All right, All right. another 11th baby. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Conchita Hutchison. I was born February 22nd which is George Washington's birthday. Yes. And I'm 80, will be 82. All right. All right. And where were you born? Atlanta. In Atlanta. Atlanta. Were you a Grady baby? Yes. Uh, All right. right. Always have Grady babies. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can see you with that hat on. <laughs> Although the black hat fits him, believe me. <laughs> My name is John Grofe. I was born February 14, 43, and I'm from Atlanta, uh, take that back, St. Louis, Missouri. Louis. Okay, okay, so you, have, you got the same birthday as my husband has yeah. here. Happy birthday, Valentine's, Valentine's baby. My name's Carol Garman. I was born in Douglas County. My birthday is February the 17th. <laughs> not telling my age. And she's not telling her All age. right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Okay, dear. <laughs> My name is Pat McCall, and I was born in Philadelphia. Wow, Philadelphia. <laughs> All right. And when's your birthday? And February 13th. Okay. No age. I'm Therese Weber. I'm here with my twin sister. 
We were both born on February the 28th in 1938. I was born in Rochester, and she was born in Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Honey, that was a long labor, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We had some okay. mothers. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm Betty Cox. Uh, I was born in Albertville, Alabama, and on February 20th, I will be 70 years old. All right. Okay. Happy. Happy All birthday. Right. Okay. I'm Connie Tria. I was born in Dayton, Ohio, and my twin and I share the same birthday of February 28th, and we'll both be 81. Oh, All right. Wow. Okay. I'm Barbara Brown. I was born in Mississippi, a little town you never heard of. Uh, on the 25th, I will be 82. Okay. What very good. What is the good. little town we've never heard yeah. of? Silver City. Okay, Silver City. Silver City. Okay. Well, happy birthday. They don't even have a traffic light. Oh, oh God, the honey, I bet they got one now. They may have one now. Okay. <laughs> this lady and I share the same name, so almost. pretty much. It's almost. <laughs> She's got a T in her name somewhere. Oh, I'm Sharon Johnston, and I will be 70 uh, February the 24th, and I'm very proud to be 70. That's right. And I was uh, born in Bowden, Georgia. Okay. Right. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right. This gentleman here, some of y'all may or may not know him. I know him very well. So, all right. Too well. <laughs> I, I, I'm Bill Fight. Uh, I was born in a town everybody knows where it's at, Tenga, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Abbreviation for Tennessee and Georgia because the mailbox was in Tennessee and uh, and the railroad station was in Georgia, so uh, that's the reason it's called Tenga, Georgia. But I'm 89 years old, and I uh, will. Uh, my birthday is the 17th of February. All right. All right. Happy okay. Birthday. Some of y'all may have recognized that last name, Fight. This is Woody Fight's husband. Okay. So we and he really supported Woody. He really supports us, and it's something I've, I really appreciate. And he gets a kiss. He's one yeah. of the few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was sweet. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right. My name is Mary Liz Grant. I was born in Columbus, Georgia. And I'm proud to say, because everybody tell me I don't look my age, I will be 72 on the 11th. All right, all right. <laughs> happy birthday. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh-oh. My name is Dorothy Bush. I was born in Fortston, Georgia. I will be 84 on the 6th. Okay, very good. And I am really blessed because the Lord has saved me from death twice. Amen. And I'm thankful to be here to make 84. Fantastic. Wow. And you Happy know what? Birthday. He left you here for a reason, honey. There's something That's you right. hadn't done yet. That's so we right. got to figure out what it is. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Anybody? Here we go. Okay. Hi. My name is Shirley Oliver. Uh, my birthday is February 19th. I'll be 65. Okay, join the Medicare roll. <laughs> right. Okay. And I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right. Volunteers that helps a lot of y'all at the front desk. So we're very proud of her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My name is Anita Humphrey. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama, and I will be 64 on February 13th. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Did I miss anybody? I think we got everybody here. Okay. okay. Okay, it's time to sing. Everybody gets to sing because you're all birthday people. Okay. Birthday. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Bless you. Happy birthday to you. 